Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now, um, I'm going to review a film that came out almost a year ago, but I never got to see in theaters. Um, it's been added onto Hulu and Amazon Prime this week. Um, and um, I done a trailer reaction to this movie like a long time ago. So at the time, I thought like the movie kind of looked cool, and I'm a huge fan of Will Smith, and even had a difficult time trying to pronounce the name. <coughs> Um, but it's, um, Gemini Man, um, I don't remember what I said in, in the video, like I said, it was a long time ago, I mispronounced it, but, um, Gemini Man was the 2019 Will Smith film that came out last fall, directed by Ann Lee, and, um, and, um, you know, it was, it was a film at the time, you know, I thought would look cool, and, um, of course, it didn't get very good reviews, it didn't do well at the box office, um, and, um, I finally watched it on Hulu, and it was... It was alright. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was horrible. Um, and how do I explain the plot? Because um, the plot's kind of difficult to explain. Basically, um, Will Smith plays um, this um, this former agent who, who wants to retire from from um, I guess the, from his job as a as a sniper, and then um, and then he finds out there was there's a clone made of himself, like like a younger version of him, like 30 years younger. Um, like killing people, especially his old, um, his old partner, and, uh, it's, a uh, that's pretty much what it is, it's just, just him, like, Will Smith being tracked down by a clone version of himself. Um, I gotta say, um, like, they did some, like, digital effects on Will Smith, like, on the younger version of himself, made him look like, look like what, like, what he was like in the 80s, like, during the fresh Prince of Bel-Air years. Um, like, like, I gotta be honest, like, the effects kind of do look convincing, like, you know, little makeup could have worked or stuff. They could have done it without the digital technology. But for the most part, I thought they kind of looked impressive. Although, um, there were some times where it didn't look convincing. Like, a few times. Like, like in, like, I think one or two scenes where the two Smiths are fighting. And um, you can tell it's kind of like a digital effect. I don't know. I felt like, you know, in certain comedy films, like The Nutty Professor or The Austin Powers films, like, they didn't need to use all that digital technology thing. Like, I really believe there's... There's two acts, two of the same actors in one scene. While, um, of course, in the in this film, I believe you know the effects are convincing. While there's some that are like, I don't know, not 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 that strong. And uh, and um, basically, that's kind of like um, what it is. It's kind of like a basic um, action movie. Um, like the acting is decent for the most part. Um, the action's kind of like also decent for the most part, but not nothing nothing wild. Not too crazy, and um, same thing with the acting. Nothing, you know, nothing that impressive, and nothing to go crazy over. It's like one of those movies you only watch like one time, and not all the time. Like it doesn't have a high rewatch value. Um, do I see myself watching the movie again at some point? Well, <coughs> I like Will Smith, but um, I just don't think like um, like it's not one of his worst movies. I think Spies in Disguise, which came out a few months later, was a much better film. But um, you know, for the for for the action, it's um, it's it's okay. It's nothing crazy, nothing um, mind blowing either. So um, I would say, like, if you never heard of this movie, um, you, I recommend you watch the trailer, see if something you're interested. Uh, it's not one of those movies I highly recommend you see. It is watchable though. It's not like super boring or anything. Um, and um, like like the ending of it, um, it's it's like I'm not gonna say without giving it away, but it was kind of interesting, but, um, you know, it could have been, you could have been more invested in it, you know, you, they could have made it more, um, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know, like, I, like, it's like, it's sometimes, there's sometimes where it not be that very interesting, or maybe kind of hard to follow, but, um, I would say, like, uh, if you have Amazon Prime or Hulu, um, you can watch this for free without paying for it, or, um, it's just considered as a rental, um, like I said, it's worth watching. Not one of my favorite um, Will Smith movies. And um, if you have seen Jenna, my man, I'd like to know what you think of this film. So um, that's my review of um, Jenna, my man. I felt like like talking about it since they just finally put it on Hulu on like today, and uh, you know finally got around to watching it. And um, you know hearing about it, like the bad stuff about it, as well as the reviews and all this stuff, maybe less excited to watch it because um like that movie had a lot of potential it just didn't pay off as well and I can understand why it it just it became like a bomb like it didn't become a success so, no big deal you know hopefully you know down the line you know Will Smith will do 
more better stuff in the future. I mean, I mean, he's done Spies in Disguise, which is a good movie, and the new Bad Boys movie I have not seen yet, but um, you know, I'm still looking forward to see what he does next. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!